Hi there, welcome to my site and welcome to this Paint Shop Pro tutorial on using the various uh, restoration tools, the clone tool, the scratch remover, and the object remover. These are really neat tools, they work quite well. So you can see in this picture I do have a few scratches right here. This is a big one, this is from a fold. Actually this is really a messy photograph. Um, it was folded and just a real mess. It was taken around 1953-54. Um, so it's it's kind of a, an aged thing, maybe 53 years old. Amazing. Anyways, I want to uh, get rid of these scratches. That'll go a long way to helping improve this photograph. So we're going to grab the scratch remover tool. And that lives right here. There's a clone tool, the scratch remover, and the object remover. We're going to take the scratch remover and get this out of there. Maybe we'll zoom in a bit on this. I did this uh, with Photoshop as well, and it took hours to do it, and multiple layers. And here I am with this cool little thing that does this. Now I've got a pixel width of 11. Bing. Gone. Gone. I'm just taking short little strokes, getting rid of it quickly. Uh, not trying to do the whole thing all at once. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? how easy that is to do. Let's zoom out and see how it looks. See? Look at that. Maybe there's a little pattern up here. Uh, we'll take it again. There, they blended in nicely. Okay, so that's that one. And here's one right here. So we'll just take it right there, 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 and there. And you can use this almost as your clone tool as you want. Um, it's it, it works that well. Let's take this little black thing out of there. And there was another one down at the bottom. Well, there's some more. They're all over the place, actually. Let's see what else we got. There's one here. Now, the place that was really bothersome, as you can see, right here and right here. So I am going to zoom in on the elbow here. Okay. Grab my scratch remover and just take him away. Helps if you know exactly where you're working. And down on her knee. See all these little funny lines here? They're all scratches. So I'm going to make it smaller and just take that white out. And I was amazed at how fast this thing worked and how effectively it worked. This would be like, well it was, it was hours of cloning and layers everywhere. I think I got like seven or eight or ten layers on this uh, on the same thing on Photoshop. And I'm not saying anything bad about Photoshop of course because I do a lot of work there and a lot of tutorials, but uh, this one is pretty cool. Now let's zoom out and see how it looks. Yeah, there's still some stuff I can work on there, but uh, <clears throat> it certainly is a lot better, isn't it? So that's how you use a scratch remover. And I'm just going to go back here and just do a few more here. So, there you go. That's how you use a scratch remover. You can almost use it as a clone tool. Up, whoops, there's something in that elbow right there. There we go, and there we go. Now you can almost use it as a clone tool. See up here in the there's some uh, white spots. Maybe make it a bit bigger. There. There we go. Not kind of neat. Now the other one is the uh, object remover. Now the way you use this thing, you, up in your top of your tool bar, you've got a lasso and you've got a rectangle. What you do is you make a, a loose tracing around the object you want to remove and it gives you a little selection. Then you go up and you grab the little red rectangle and this is what you get. And you can spin it around and do all kinds of goofy things with it. Then you can do this. I'm just going to make it a bit smaller. Well, a lot smaller as a matter of fact. I'm going to move it into the tree there because I want the tree texture to be the uh, 
what is replacing that white blob. Oops, shouldn't have done that. Just get out again. Whoops, don't I look like I know what I'm doing? Uh, let me sing you a song while I'm waiting. Eh, maybe not. There we go. Oops, wrong one. That's the one I want. Okay. Make it smaller. So you don't use the uh, zoom tool to zoom in in this situation. You use the navigator. And that doesn't get rid of your selection. Okay, here we go. So now I'm going to make this a bit smaller. I'm going to try and just use tr tree texture to get rid of this. So once I'm happy with its placement, I hit the uh, the green check mark and that replaces it. There we go. Now it doesn't look all that great, so I'm not going to. I'm going to. I'm going to undo the object remover. I'm going to make this a bit thinner. I'm going to drag it up just here, so it's just kind of right beside her face, between the tree and the. Uh, or between her face and the tree. And we'll hit the check mark again and see what happens. I have no idea what's going to happen. Nothing happened. Well, that didn't work. Can I do it multiple times? Nah, it's not changing it very much. Let's take it down here. Try it. Make it a bit bigger. There we go. Okay, so it's not the greatest, but Control-D to get rid of everything. Okay, so there's our, our replacement. Now what I would do is use the clone tool to fix this up. Now the way you use the clone tool is you right click. Now first you put your pen on the tablet or your mouse if you must. And you drag it around and you can change the size of this. And I've also, because I'm using a Wacom in 203 tablet here, I've got the brush uh, variant set to opacity. So the harder I press, the darker it'll get. I think I might actually change that. And uh, here is the uh, the brush variants. I'm going to change it from opacity to size because I want it to get smaller or bigger depending on how hard I press. So you right click on your source and you just start cloning it in. I've also got it checked for not aligned, so now I've got it checked for aligned. And that's just kind of getting rid of that pattern that was created. I'm going to give us a new source up here. Try and make it kind of consistent. This isn't going to be the masterful job, you know, just, just because I'm doing it quickly for a video. But when you zoom out, it'll look okay. And I'm trying to prevent patterns, so I keep changing the uh, positioning of the source. I actually think this is a coat hanging here. There we go. And I have no idea why that's there. My computer's a titch slow. So let's zoom this out of here. Okay, let's see how it looks now. Going to do, here it goes. Now that's a bit, a bit less distracting than it was before. Now it looks like it's a tree. I think she's holding a little lizardy thing here in her hands. So those three tools, the scratches, the object, and the clone, it'll take care of so many problems when you've got a, uh, a picture you want to restore. And you really, when you think about it, these, these old pictures that your parents have, or you've got stuffed away in shoe boxes or in albums that are, maybe the pictures are kind of beat up, they're, they're worth your time, and they're worth learning how to use these tools correctly. So have fun. Uh, grab yourself some old photographs and and go to town with them. Get rid of these nasty little scratches and marks and dings because it's your family history, right? And you want to take care of your family history. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you found it useful. I'm sure if you're doing any restoration projects uh, with uh, old family photographs that you will find this extremely useful. So thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate your time. And uh, come visit my site if you found this uh, video on YouTube. My site is www.the-graphics-tablet.com and this tutorial is under the Paint Shop Pro um, menu. Okay, so take care. Thanks. Bye.